This is the Simulink model of MPPT for Solar PV Array. This is the boost converter. To extract maximum power from the PV array, the duty cycle of PWM is controlled through this MPPT block and is then fed to MOSFET as gating pulse. If you guys want to buy this project, mention your email address in the comment or send it in a private message. I will then send you price or other details for buying this MATLAB file. Now, we will look how much accurate this model is. Let first plot the current versus voltage and power versus voltage curves of the PV array. Select array at 1000 watt per meter square with specified temperature here from the drop down menu and let enter different values of temperatures here. Let plot the curves. Let consider this 100 degrees Celsius curve and look for the values of current and voltage at maximum power point. The current at MPP is somewhere between 30 and 35. Therefore, let revalue limits for y-axis. Just put 30 here and 35 here and press enter. This is approximately 32.3. Similarly, it's 32.4 at MPP of 50 degrees Celsius curve, 32.2 for 25 degrees Celsius and 31.9 for 0 degrees Celsius curve. Don't forget these values or write it down with yourself as we will need them all. Now, let put the limits for x-axis. Let put 200 and 400. Let look for the values of voltages at maximum power points, which are 210, 276, 310 and 343 volts for 100. 50, 25, and 0 degrees C respectively. The maximum values of power are 6,750, 8,950, 10,000, and 11,000 watts at 150, 25, and 0 degrees Celsius respectively. Let's start simulation and see how this MPPT controller extracts maximum power from the PV array. Let first simulate the model at 100 degrees Celsius. Let open this scope and see values of current voltage and power. Average value of PV voltage is approximately 211 and the value of voltage at MPP was noted as 210 from the graph. The average value of current is 32.2 and from the graph it was noted as 32.3. And the average value of power is 6790 which was noted as 6750 from the graph. So, the results coincide with the ideal MPP of the solar array. Therefore, this MPPT is very successful in extracting maximum power from PV. Let's change the value of temperature here, make it 50. 
Start simulation. Open the scope and let's see the results. Average values of voltage, current and power are 276, 32.3 and 8938 respectively. And the values which were noted from the graph are 276, 32.4 and 8950. Therefore, maximum power has been extracted from the PV array through this MPPT design. Now, let make the temperature 25. Let's see the results. Average values of voltage, current and power are 310, 32.2 and 9980 respectively, which were noted as 310, 32.2 and 10,000 respectively. Now, let make the temperature zero. Start simulation and see the results. Average values of voltage, current and power are 344, 31.9 and 10,990 respectively. These values were noted as 343, 31.9 and 11,000 respectively from the graph. Let now keep the temperature constant and change the irradiance. Let first have a look at the graph to note the maximum power points. The maximum power at 800 and 500 irradiances are 8000 and 5000 watts respectively and the voltages are 310 and 311 volts respectively. Now change the irradiance here, make it 800 and start simulation.
The average values of voltage and power are 310.5 and 7998. Let's change the value of radiance, make it 500. Let's see the results. The average value of the voltage is 309 and average value of power is 4980 which are very close to the point of maximum power. I have completely demonstrated the model. If you want to buy this MATLAB file just mention your email address in the comment or send it in a private message. I will then send the price and details. Thanks for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos.